Alright, so I'm back and today we're going to do a review. Like I, like I said in my last video, I just don't have anything else to talk about. So, we'll do a review of Multiverse of Madness. It was fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't have much to say that I haven't already said. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it was fine. I mean, it wasn't great. It wasn't... Okay. It wasn't good. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't good. Um, I don't... I don't think I have much positive to say about the show. Or about the movie. It's one of those movies that's like... I had zero interest in watching it ahead of time. Um, and I have... You know, it just was like... Eh, when it comes on Disney+, Plus, eventually I'll watch it. And I just finally got around to it last night. So I'm, I'm, I know I'm way behind the boat on this. And I'm going to be way behind the boat on the Thor movie, too, because it's just like, I'll get to it when I get to it. I just, I don't want to go, I, I don't feel like that I need to go see them in theaters because they haven't, these movies haven't been all that great. Um, um, or at least the, um, the look of the movies wasn't all that great. I just was like... Sorry, work. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. Uh, so the <laughs> let's see. Um, what did I like about the movie? Nope. No, I don't. I don't got nothing. Um, I just don't got nothing. I mean, it just didn't. Uh, you know, bringing in the Illuminati just to kill them all off one by one, and it's like, oh God, why did they have to do it the way they did it? Just the whole like, well, let's let's attack the Scarlet Witch one at a time. <laughs> and it was just like, and they just stood there. Like, she's killing them off, and they're just like, oh, yeah, we're going to just stand here. And then finally, like, when it was only two left, and they all they both attacked at the same time. But not really, because it was just like, oh, she fought the Captain Carter for a second, and then knocked her down, and then fought whatever her fucking name is. Knocked her down, and then went back to Captain Carter, and killed her, and then went back to whatever Captain Marvel... Captain this, Captain that. Uh, it's just, uh. and then like I mean, if they would have all attacked at once, like Mordor, 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 whatever his name is, if they would have attacked her with him, um, Mister Fantastic, Black Bolt, um, you know, Xavier, Captain Carter, and Captain uh, Universe or whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah, I mean, that's how little I cared about them. And, you know, it doesn't help that a lot of this was spoiled ahead of time for me. So it's like I saw I saw their deaths ahead of time and because it was all over YouTube. And it's just like, you know, it's like I just didn't care. The only thing I really enjoyed is the fact that she killed um, Black Bolt and she killed... Um, well, she pretty much killed the whole... Or she killed the whole Illuminati, pretty much. And it's like I enjoyed almost all of that. Um, just because it's like I hate most of those characters. I hate Mr. Fantastic. I hate Black Bolt. I, I hate Ca Captain uh, Marvel. Uh, you know, it's like these characters were never my favorites. The only one, and I didn't. I never really cared for Captain Carter. It's like the whole group, except for Xavier, is like, yeah, kill him off. I'm sure, I don't care. Uh. I, mean, I don't have much to say. Um, you know, just this whole the Scarlet Witch is the villain again. 
you know, she was, they teased her as the villain in the WandaVision. I've said this before. It's like they teased her as the villain there, and then at the end they were able to save her as the hero. And I thought that was really well done. I mean, like, I didn't really care too much for the show, but I thought it was well done in the way of, okay, so this is a way we can make her seem like the villain, but in the end still make her the good guy. Um, so that we can go back to status quo. Now she's just straight villain. And, you know, they'll probably go back to status quo with her, you know, even though she's dead, but they'll probably find a way to bring her back, whatever. And she'll be a hero, and it's just like, uh, how do you go back from that? Like, that was pretty bad. Let's see... I did not care for America at all. Uh, I didn't like the character, didn't like the actress, I didn't like anything about it. Um, I didn't care for the alternate universe of his girlfriend, whatever her name is. Um, I didn't care for it. I don't. I don't care about it. I. I, there, I wasn't invested in it whatsoever. Um, you know, the the whole time, you know, there's a big portion of the movie where they're trying to find the good guy book and then they destroy it. So he's like, well, I'm going to go ahead and use the bad guy book that everyone says I can't use. So it's like he's very much just the Doctor Strange that everybody don't doesn't like. And it's like, well, that's, you know, you were supposed to be the better one. You know, and it's just like, okay. So they were right. They should have killed you. You know, you're doing everything that they said that, or that you said that you weren't going to do, and that they uh, killed their Doctor Strange fra for, and you went ahead and just did it anyway. So it's like, um, <laughs> I know it's a negative review. Um, it's, I, I, I just don't have anything great to say about these. This movie, it just it wasn't entertaining. Um, that's the biggest problem. It's just like it wasn't entertaining. I wasn't sitting there like on the edge of my seat like, ooh. You know, it was just more like, okay. Um, I mean, I wasn't bored because I was doing laundry at the same time. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's, there's my level of excitement for seeing this new Marvel movie was I watched it while doing my laundry. And I had more fun with the laundry. Um, that's, that's the best way to describe it. Um, I thought the uh, ridiculous little eye thing that opens up on his head. Like, okay, yeah, the villainous one he gets it. And then, and then he fights and kills him. And then the good guy one gets it at the end and it's just like you know oh got to have the metal guitar and his eye opens up and it's like uh, okay. uh yeah I, I don't i don't have anything else to say about the movie it just it wasn't i mean i'm over i've said this before i'm over the multiverse thing um you know it's not a story arc that i feel like can be played out uh, for an extended period of time. I, it, you know, the Infinity War was something that they were able to build to by focusing individual movies on the individual stones. Um, and then also, but also introducing each character prior to each stone. You know, it's like, it, it, you, know, I, you know, you had two movies of Iron Man before he interacted with the stone. You had uh, a Thor movie before he interacted with the stone. Captain America, he interacts with the stone immediately. But it's like, you know, it's like they tiered it out in a way where it's like they eventually interact with the stone. And each stone ha is a movie on its own, which leads to another movie. And that led into Infinity War. And that's why that whole thing worked is because... You know, you can do all these things and and tell the story slowly and and adequately. Um, but with the multiverse stuff, it's like they jumped right into it, and it's instantly not. It, it's lost all appeal to me. Um, you know, it's like we did it with Loki. Um, you know, with all the little multiverse of Loki. 
Um, so it's like, okay, we've seen this already. And then we do it again with Spider-Man. It's like, okay, we've seen this. You know, at least this ties in the older franchises. And then we see it again with the Multiverse of Madness. And it's just like... And, and all of this also was in um, What If as well. It was like the season finale of What If or series finale. I don't know. Uh, where they were pulling all the heroes from different multiverses. It's like they did it better there. And they also did this back in the 90s with the Spider-Man show. It's like, And they did it with the Spider-Man uh, movie um, Into the Spider-Verse. And they're doing it again with the whatever the second one is. Um, and it's just like I'm, I'm over multiverse stuff. I, I, I just don't care. I don't want to see Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange. I don't want to see how they interact with somebody else that wasn't, or, you know, a, a different character that was is the same character but slightly different. I don't care. That's the thing. It's just, I just don't care. Uh, it's like one and done. You know, Spider-Man did it better. Loki did it better. Doctor Strange did it poorly. I mean, there was nothing in this movie that I was really enjoying. I could have really gotten a, behind a villainous um, Scarlet Witch had it not been for the fact that we've already seen this. Um, now she's truly villain, and it's just like, it's so out of character. And just like comes out of nowhere you know it's like that's that's one of the biggest problems is just like oh okay she went full villain between last last or last tv show and this movie like full psychotic serial killer villain and Uh, for a score, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Um, not a movie I'm going to watch again. You know, same with, with uh, Shang-Chi and um, Eternals. Like, I doubt I'm ever going to watch any of those movies ever again. Uh, one and done. And uh, that's, that's how I have to leave it. It's like... It's like... Let me put it this way. You guys know my views on the DC Extended Universe. Like, you know, Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, Justice League. I'm willing to watch those movies again. At some point. You know, at some point I'll watch them again. I didn't like those movies, but there's a replay value in it. And maybe I'll enjoy them a little bit more on a second time. This movie, I, I, there's not. There's no replay value for me. I, I, you know, if anything, I might go on YouTube and watch Scarlet Witch killing everybody again. That's all I got. I mean, it's just, it wasn't good. I, and from what I've heard of the Thor movie, uh, I'm not talking about the ratings. I'm just telling you, like, what I've heard about certain things that happened in the movie made me go, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait till video on that one, too. Like, eventually I'll watch it, but I'm not going to go pay money to see it in theaters. I mean, I know it's going to be spoiled, but it's just like, you know, and it's like, you know, they got Christian Bale to play Gore the God Butcher. And it's like, oh, okay, you know, that 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 could be cool, but the movie's already been out, and like I'm just thinking back, like when we talk about good villains and stuff, you know, it was like most movies are like, eh, you know, you know, it's got such and such villain, but it's like you look back at like say The Dark Knight, Heath Ledger as the Joker was the talk of the town, like everyone's talking about it. I haven't heard anybody talking about Christian Bale's score with God of Butcher. So it's like, oh, well, obviously it wasn't that great. Uh, hell, um, Tom Hiddleston as Loki from the first Thor movie. Everyone was talking about that. Like, oh, man, he was really good. You know, okay, yeah, he's he could be the main villain in the Avengers. Like, all right. You know, it's gotten played out. But it's just like, you know, you, know, you heard people talking about it, Like, oh, yeah, he did a great job in that role. I haven't heard anything about it for this. So it's just like, oh, okay, it's going to be more of the same. You know, just, all right. 
cheers. <laughs> you know, it's like, whatever. So, yeah. Um, easy pass. I mean, it's late to go into it now and say, don't go see it in theaters. Save your money. Watch it on Disney+. Plus. Um, but that that's what I would say. It's like, don't bother watching it in the theaters. Don't bother watching it. You know... <sighs> Get some chores going and put it on in the background and you're going to be just fine. But don't make yourself popcorn and sit at home like, man, this I'm excited for that. You know, I watched it like thinking like, oh, maybe like the Scarlet Witch will be like really witchy. And, and you know, maybe I can even tell my girlfriend, hey, you should watch it. But no, I, 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 it's not even that. I, there's nothing about it that's like, oh, this is good. Nothing. Um... And it really sucks, too, because it's like, because it ties so closely into the TV show, WandaVision, it's that same Marvel bullshit where it's like, oh, you have to watch this, and then you have to watch this, and then you have to watch this. So it's like, if you didn't watch Loki, and you didn't watch WandaVision, and you didn't watch Spider-Man, this movie's not going to make a whole lot of sense. So you have to watch every single thing leading up to this. So that you can be like, oh, now I know what's going on. So it's it's not worth that much effort. <sighs> so yeah, that's all I got. Next, we'll start talking about the Obi-Wan show.